My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Clap for Jesus. Now, I, saw, I told you, Noah realized that there was a blessing and there was a curse. And the curse has manifested. Now, if I don't do something about it, the curse is going to affect me and my children. Because right now, I'm here alone. So what did Noah do? And the Lord smelled a sweet savour. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite anymore everything living as I have done. Next. Ooh, he says now the law. While the earth remained, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night shall not cease. Do you know the meaning? God now said that I came and I blessed. Then there was a curse. But right now I'm not doing anything. I'm setting a law. You can sow a seed to attract a blessing. The law of cause and effect. The law of sowing and reaping. It's now up to anyone. You can do an action to attract a blessing or do an action to attract a curse. God said the law. Right now, he has set a law. By the anger curse. Seed time and harvest, summer and winter, cold and heat, day and night shall not cease. It's up to you. The moment God said this, he has to apply the law he just said. Because Noah has just provoked a blessing. God must bless. So the next verse, which is Genesis 9 verse 1, must be a blessing. Look at it. And God, bless. shout, and God. Bless. How did God bless? Noah provoked the blessing. In Genesis 8. And God blessed Noah, his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth. Is it not the same thing he told the first guy he blessed? And another one has come, following the Lord that if you provoke, it's a blessing. Next. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moved upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. When Noah saw that, this blessing can be provoked and it can come. This curse also can be provoked and it can come. His children did not know and didn't have his spiritual intelligence. So in the course of time, Noah went to drink wine. Say wine. wine. Genesis 9 verse 20. <laughs> Is that verse 20? And Noah began to be an husband man and he planted a vineyard and he drank of the wine and was drunken. He drank the wine and he was drunken. And he was uncovered within his thing. Can I get 21 in the end. He drank the wine and was drunk. What a verse. And he drank some of it and he became drunk and lay uncovered inside his tent. Don't drink too much wine. NLT. One day, he drank some of wine he had made and he became drunk and lay naked in his tent. No one was very intelligent. But wine have no it has no respect for your that's how comes when they drink wine people try to say, please let's go home let's go home because wine has no respect for intelligence no one was very righteous but wine has no respect for righteousness pastor what's your advice don't drink wine don't clap for me clap for this one clap for me don't drink wine Stop asking when I drink one, will I go to heaven or hell? It don't help you. Stop drinking one. Pastor, when the Bible say, uh, drink one for the sake of your stomach, it's your stomach paining you. In those days, they didn't have omiprazole. They didn't have all those drugs. Go and get a new drug and stop saying, my stomach, my stomach. One day, he drank some wine. Give me King, King James. King James. King James. The day you turn your water into wine, you can drink it. 
King James. And he drank of the wine and was drunken. And he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Cana, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without, Hey, daddy is naked because he drank wine. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon their shoulder and went backwards. They would not look at their father's nakedness and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. They said, we will not look. You, somebody came to talk to you about somebody, about their secret. You have the audacity to say, hey, I will look into this. You are FBI. Continue. Continue. Learn the wisdom of Shem and Japheth. If Shaham comes and says that, please, this man of God, this thing they are doing, tell them me, minus me, I will not look. Let them keep looking. That's not my message. But it's one way to provoke a curse. We'll get there some days to come. Now look at what happened. Look at what I'm talking about the seed time and harvest. And Noah awoke from his wine. He didn't awake from sleep. It means wine can make you sleep. It can make you dance. Wine can hinder your intelligence. Why? It can make you. Uh, don't you awake from sleep? Talk to me. But this guy, he didn't awake from sleep. Uh, from the wine. Wine can make you sleep. It's like a sleeping tablet. You need a sleep, sleeping liquid. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him. He just, I knew. Eh, look at what he's going to do. And he said, Let's read one, two. Cares be Cana. A servant of servants shall he be unto me. No, no, no. Now, if your son has done something to you, if you want to punish him, let him kneel down. Those people knew that all I have to do is to introduce a bar software. The guy will suffer. If I want to help this one, I, I don't have to give them money. Because if it was me, I said that no. If I'm uh, sharing my houses, I won't give this one any house. No. No one could have given all his inheritance to Ham and Cana, and yet they will suffer. Why? The curse is bigger and better than the physical money and wealth. So he said, curse be Cana. A servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. Next. And he said, blessed be the Lord God of Shem and Cana. Of the Lord God of Shem. And Cana shall be his servant. Next verse. God shall enlighten Japheth. And he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. And Cana shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years. That curse that blessing is working today. Please, find a way. Two things. If you are in a position to bless people, find a way of blessing them. Number two, if you need a blessing, find a way of getting it. We have come to a generation where all we want is physical stuff. All we want is physical stuff. I mean, I need a physical blessing, but those are not true blessings because the mortar and the rust can corrupt all we want is we will do anything to destroy we will do anything to make sure we have more money more car more but as you are getting the main thing you must get is the blessing do you know that the day jacob left the house of isaac he carried nothing i repeat the day jacob was leaving the house of his father he had nothing in his physical bank account but spiritually he was loaded and in the course of time, when your spiritual bank account is full of blessing, it will attract the physical blessing. But when you have the physical blessing without the spiritual ones, you are not safe. It is not right. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. Be desperate and hungry for spiritual blessings. Go for blessings and avoid cursing any day, any time, anywhere. If we fought for blessing and cursing the same way, we fight over physical things. Our lives will get better. Look at how Esau and Jacob. They fought. About Esau was crying. My father, don't you have any for you? The house is for you. If Jacob, Isaac and Rebecca dies, all the blessing is for you. But these guys knew that no. There's something more than the physical thing you inherit. There's something spiritual which you must go for in this life. He kevele mana soon tabaha. Father grant us the spiritual intelligence to go for blessings and avoid the curse. In the name of Jesus. Don't be afraid of people who have physical stuff and lack the blessing. But be afraid of those who have the blessing. When they have the blessing, they are dangerous. Who rabaha. Lift up your right hand. Shout and bless. Say from today. I pursue, 
I operate the software of the blessing in the name of Jesus. I cannot be hindered. Put your hand up. Joshua 8 verse 34. Hmm. So, by the time we have read Genesis chapter 9, you realize that chapter 1 to chapter 9 is a transaction. Either somebody is blessed or cursed in the manifestation. Blessed, cursed, manifestation. Blessed, cursed, manifestation. Do you agree with me? This is how life has been from day one to today. Right now, your life is either is a blessing or a curse. And I'm sure time will not allow us, but I'll tell you how the, the, the dynamics or the facts of blessing, that the blessings are transferable. You get it? And afterwards, he read all the words of the law. The blessings and the... It means the law we have. When we summarize them, is the blessing and the cursing. He said he read all the words of the law. The Bible is telling you how to provoke a blessing or how to provoke a curse or how not to provoke a curse. One of them. So all the words of the law in summary is the blessings and the curses. According to all that is written in the book of the law. This is Joshua. Then Moses, Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. Mm, shout I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. 30 verse 19. If you love those children, get them spiritual blessings. Let them store something in heaven. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. That I have set before you life and death. One, two, let's go everyone. Therefore, choose life that thou both and thy seed may live. Meaning, this blessing and cursing, it can go to your seed. Oh, I sure you came to church today. This is Moses talking, the man of God. He said that, I'm going to die. But what I've done is that, I've said before you, life and death. Blessing and cursing. But I think you must choose life because the, the life is in the same category as the blessing. The death is in the same category as the cursing. He said, choose this life. So that if you choose, you are the one to choose. But this choosing will affect your seed. Many people have chosen things that has affected your seed. Now, if what I said is true, it means you right now, people chose a blessing and it's either affecting you today. Now, somebody chose a curse and it's affecting you today. The people might be bloodline or it can be environmental or it can be your nation. The forces acting upon you, don't forget the plane. The forces acting upon you are many. It can be straight in your bloodline, environmental, yourself, your nation, your country, your neighborhood, the people you are working with. Since you might not find all those forces, be conscious and decide that I'm going to provoke blessing and be conscious and decide that I'm going to avoid cases. First Chronicles 4 verse 9. There was a certain young man. He was called Jabesh. The Bible said, and Jabesh was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabesh, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabesh called on the God of Israel, saying, oh, the, oh that thou wouldest bless me indeed. The guy was honorable and he was not blessed. So you can be honorable and not blessed. I said you can be honorable and not blessed. The guy said, no, no, no. Everybody said, I'm honorable. But oh God, that you bless me indeed. You bless me indeed. And enlarge my coast. And that thy hand might be with me. What if Jabesh was not conscious of obtaining a blessing? The guy would have died an honorable man. I want you to be conscious from today. To obtain a blessing and avoid the curse. Be conscious. Decide to be a partaker of the blessing. Out of ignorance, maybe we have done things to partake evil stuff. We didn't know. Some of them we knew. But now that your eyes are opening, decide, give yourself time. I'm going to provoke a blessing every day, every week, every month, every year. I'm going to provoke a blessing. I'm going to do it. I'm going to avoid the curse. I'm going to avoid it. Jabez cried. One day, in the book of Mark 11 verse 14, Jesus is going and he saw a tree. And the tree decided to give Jesus fruit. And Jesus answered and said unto him, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. 
and his disciples heard it. Jump to verse 20 for me. And in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried from the roots. Who told you that trees grow because of nutrients? Who told you? Oh, talk to me. Someone said, the trees are growing because of the water and the nutrients. Question. How can a tree die overnight? With the nutrients and the water there, it means there's another force which controls the nutrients and the water. Who said you get blessed by the pain you get? There's another force. Haven't you realized that a group of people, 10 of them, they left the same school, did the same course. They got the job the same day in the same company. After 10 years, their lives are totally different. How? They pay them the same 100,000 a year. 100,000 a year. They all work in Agabus <laughs> computers. Agabus computers. Everyone is getting 100,000. But after 5 years, same day, their lives are totally different. What happened? Extra forces are working. What if you know these extra forces and decide to do something about it? And what if you don't know and don't do nothing about it? From today, be conscious and partake. Now, Jesus said, and Peter calling to remembrance, Peter is amazing, said unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursed is withered away. He attributed the, the withering away to the curse. And Jesus said unto him, have faith in God. If you have been here, I told you how human beings are like trees. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of the ungodly. But he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water. The blind man said, I see men, but I see them like trees. Spiritually, you are like trees. If this is true, the same way Jesus looked at the tree and cursed the tree. Somebody can look at the tree, which is you, and curse you. The reverse is true. Somebody can look at the tree and bless the tree. And when the tree is blessed, the tree will grow, multiply, and be fruitful. When the tree is cursed, the tree will dry up. What are you going to do? Are you going to position yourself for the blessing? Or are you going to position yourself for the curse? As long as heaven and earth remain, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter. Lift up your right hand. Say, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to be ordinary. I refuse to be ordinary. In the name of Jesus. Now look here. A certain man, he is called Balak. He's a king. He has an army. Powerful man. He heard that a group of people called the Israelites, they were coming. And they were coming to conquer him. And if I was the one, I would go and buy or look for scientists to prepare me a nuclear weapon. Or I will go and buy 41 billion worth of military equipment. Hardware. And come and use it. No. The guy said, no, no, no. I know what to do. If only I can introduce a curse, I will win. Numbers 22 verse 1. Please, believe what I tell you. 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 Since you don't know all the forces around you, today, take charge of your life. Decide to introduce these forces. I'll tell you something. You see, you can provoke. The Bible said, the blessing of the dying man came to me. There are elderly people around you which you trust. <laughs> You say you are suffering. No, no, no. You can provoke a blessing any day, any time. You have not used the opportunities of blessing around you. I remember when we started the church, I keep telling the story. Auntie Kemi had his grandmother. He's a, she's about 90 years. Eh? 90 years. How do you find elderly people who are able to walk up and down and come to church and talk no problems? Every end of year, I will gather all my family and say, let's go. And then when they pray, they take their time out. They don't care whether you are a pastor or not. So, the first one will go and kneel down. And he will be praying. The next one, then it will get to my turn. Before he start praying, Pastor Mark, Abraham, blessings are yours. No, true. God is my witness. He will do it in my head. Abraham, blessings are yours. I am, you are blessed in the morning. Yeah. I'm, this, I'm, I'm kneeling down. 30 minutes. I'm you are blessed. You will increase. You are blessed. You see. Oh, oh, you see. It looks like I am a fool. I'm stupid. But no. Hardly do you find an elderly woman like that. They can provoke a blessing. But you, the last one you saw, you started cursing. Hey. This life. 
you have power to determine your outcome. Yes, you didn't know yesterday, but today, what are you going to do with this word? Let me try to crusade with prayer. Numbers 22 verse 1. Give me NIV. Then the Israelites, some people are already better in this life. They are waiting for who to curse. Please avoid them. <laughs> some people are already bitter if you make a mistake when they were coming from house they have been bitter from their family husband or wife they came to work and you step on their toes they will bring all the cares they will vomit the cares on you when you find such people please just say I'm sorry please forgive me mama I'm sorry ah mama I'm sorry let her take her cares away and take your blessing and go don't try and, and, and attract unnecessary trouble. You met somebody on a flight. The flight is just two hours. He just snored on you and you shook him and he said, you, you will suffer. What? Two hours? Why do you have to destroy your life for two hours? I want to take my time and teach, but it's boiling. Look here. And the Israelites traveled to the plains of Moab and come along the Jordan across from Jericho. And Balak, the son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to Amorites. And Moab was terrified because there were so many people. Indeed, Moab was filled with dread because of the Israelites. Next. And the Moabites said to the elders of Midian, The horde is going to lick up everything around us and also lick up the grass. The next, next verse. And he sent messengers to summon Balaam, son of Beer, and who was at Peto near the Euphrates River in his native land. Balak said, a people has come out of Egypt. They cover the face of the land and have settled next to me. Now come and put a curse on these people because they are too powerful for me. Question, look at me. If the people are too powerful for you, why do you need to introduce a curse into them? The guy knows the power of a curse and the power of a blessing. Can I define to you what a blessing is? Blessing and curse, they are the same thing. They are all forms of empowerment. But the blessing is an empowerment to succeed. A curse is an empowerment to fail. So what Balak was saying is that Balaam, please come and empower them to fail. The way they are powerful, if you don't introduce the curse, I will lose. He's a king, intelligent king. He said, come and put a curse on these people because they are too powerful for me. Perhaps then I will be able to defeat them and drive them out of the land. For I know that whoever you bless is blessed. And whoever you curse is cursed. Balak was a king. Two of us. But he had intelligence to know that this guy's blessing and cursing are powerful than my own. Question. Balak, why don't you just go and stand and say, Hey, Israel, I curse you. It won't work. Because there are things you must do to bless and curse. He said that this guy, I know that when you bless, is blessed. When you curse, is cursed. Please come and do it. And he paid money to get the blessing. He paid money to go and hide for a curse. Next. Now come and put a the elders of Moab and Midian left, taking with them the fee for divination. <laughs> Say the fee for divination. <laughs> Why? They had to provoke it. The fee was to provoke it. When they came to Balaam, they told him what Balak had said. Spend the night here, Balaam said to them, and I'll report back to you with the answer the Lord gives me. So the Moabite officials stayed with him. And God came to Balaam and asked, Who are these men with you? <laughs> Balaam said to God, Balak, the son of Zepho, king of Moab, sent me this message a people has come out of Egypt cover the faith next verse next verse but God said to Balaam do not go with them you must not put a curse on those people because they are blessed ah. some people are just walking through life and say that no if they put it don't work God knew that if the guy goes and put a curse it will fight them say that no don't go and don't go and put the curse God was telling the guy don't go and do it because these people are blessed next verse the next morning Balaam got up and said to Balak officials go back to your own country for the Lord has refused to let me go with you so the Moabite officials returned to Balak and said Balaam refused to come with us then Balak sent other officials more numerous more distinguished than the first the king said I need a curse <laughs> he went to a shop to shop for a curse a king He's, he's scouting for curse. <laughs> this came, they came to Balaam and said, this is what Balak, son of Zippor, said. Do not let anyone keep you from coming to me. 
because I will reward you handsomely and do whatever you say. Come and put a curse on these people for me. This life, there are people who curse people. Oh, yes. But Balaam answered them, even if Balak gave me all the silver and the gold in his palace, I could not do anything great or small to go beyond the command of the Lord my God. Now spend the night here so that I can find out what else the Lord will tell me. This is the reason why God wanted to kill Balaam. Because Balaam, I told you, don't go. I told you don't curse them. If they came back again, why do you have to come back to me and say that? God, what are you going to say again? He wanted God to change his mind and curse the Israelites. That's how come God got angry and uh, he wanted to kill Balaam. But the, the donkey had to talk and bow down. Does it make sense? Next. That night God came to Balaam and said, Since these men have come to summon you, go with them. But do only what I tell you. Someone said, but God was the one who told him to go. He was angry. Many times when God says go, it's not because he wants you to go, but because you are forcing him to go. They wanted a king. God said, I, I, you don't need a king. They forced God. God said, if you want it, I will give it to you. Not all the things God gave you is his as well. Let's not go there today. Balaam got up in the morning, saddled his donkey, and we know what happened. Jump to verse 23. Verse 23. Verse 23. Chapter 23, please. You have to flow, flow, flow. Chapter 23, verse 1. So he went back to him and Balaam said, Build me seven altars here and prepare seven booths and seven rounds for me. Balak did as Balaam said, and the two of them offered the bull and a ram on each altar. I told you it must be provoked. Then Balaam said to Balak, Stay here beside the offering while I go aside. Perhaps the Lord will come to meet with me. Whatever he reveals to me, I will tell you. Then he went off to a barren height. God met with him, and Balaam said, I have prepared seven altars, and on each altar I have offered a bull and a ram. The Lord put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Go back to Balak and give him this word. So he went back to him and found him standing beside his offering with all the Moabite officials. Then Balak spoke his message. Balak brought me from Aram, the king of Moab from the eastern mountains. Come, he said, curse Jacob for me. Come and denounce Israel. How can I curse those whom God has not cursed? How can I denounce those whom the Lord has not denounced? From the rocky peaks, I see them. From the heights, I view them. I see a people who live apart and do not consider themselves one of the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob or number even a fourth of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous and may my final end be like this. Balak, Balaam is blessing them and yet he was called to curse. Then Balak got angry. He said, next. Balak said to Balaam, what have you done to me? These people are powerful for me. I call you to introduce weakness in them, but you are empowering them the more. What have you done to me? I brought you to curse my enemies, but you have done nothing but bless them. He answered, must I not speak what the Lord put in my mouth? Then Balak said to him, come with me to another place where you can see them. You will not see all of them, but only the outskirts of their camp. And from there, curse them for me. But question, question. Why is the guy interested in cursing? If you can be interested in blessing the same way Balak was interested in cursing, our lives will be easier. But we get up, clap for Jesus. We get up every day, every week. And you don't remember the last time somebody blessed you consciously. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. From today, it's changing. I said from today, it's changing. I said from today, it's changing. And he took him to the field of Zophim on the top of Pisgah. And there he built seven altars and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Balaam said to Balak, stay here beside the offering while I meet with him over there. The Lord met with Balaam and put a word in his mouth and said, go back to Balak and give him this word. Next. So he went to him and found him standing beside his offering with the Moabite officials. Balak asked him, what did the Lord say? Then he spoke his message. Arise, Balak, and listen, hear me, son of Zippor. God is not human that he should lie. Not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? I have received a command to bless. He has blessed. I cannot change it. No misfortune is seen in Jacob. No misery is observed in Mark. The Lord their God is with them. The shout of the king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild ox. There is no divination against Jacob. No evil omens against Israel.
Look, he said, look, the people rise like a lioness. They rouse themselves like a lion. That does not rest till it divorces his prey and they drink the blood of his victim. <laughs> then Balak said to Balaam, neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. <laughs> he said, if you won't curse them, don't bless them. But they have 10,000 power. Now you are making them 20,000. Then I'm in trouble. The word of God is too sweet. Balaam answered, did I not tell you I must do whatever the Lord says? Then Balak said to Balaam, come, let me take you to another place. Perhaps it will please God for to let you curse them for me. Look at how important a curse is to that evil man. Is the blessing important to you that way? Oh, it's just normal, you see, this life, uh, what to be, oh, Oh no. Then Balak said to Balaam, Come, let me. Next, next verse, next verse. Then Balak took Balaam to the top of Peel, overlooking the wasteland. Every day. Seven rounds for me. Next. Balak did as Balaam had said and offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Go. Then Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel. He did not resort to divination as at other times, but turned his face towards the wilderness. When Balaam looked out and saw Israel and come tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came on him and he spoke his message. The prophecy of Balaam, son of Beer, the prophecy of one whose eyes see clearly. Hmm, next. The prophecy of one who hears the word of God, who sees a vision from the Almighty, who falls prostrate and whose eyes are open. How beautiful are your tents, O Jacob! Your dwelling place is O Israel. Like valleys they spread out, like gardens beside the river, like aloes planted by the Lord, like cedars beside the waters. Water will flow from their bucket, their seed will have abundant water. Their king will be greater than Agag, their kingdom will be exalted. God brought them out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild ox. They devour hostile nations. They break the bulls in pieces. With their arrows, they pierce them. Like a lion, they crouch and lie down. Like a lioness who dares to rouse them. May those who bless you be blessed and may those who curse you be cursed in the name of Jesus. Look here, look here. Now look at the, how the guy got angry. Now Balak, Balak's anger burned against Balaam. He struck his hand. Stop what you are doing. Stop that nonsense. He said, I summon you to curse my enemies but you have blessed them this three times. Question, how many times have you been blessed? In two days, those people were blessed three times. This year, how many times have you been blessed? You don't care. You take hard work. For by strength shall no man prevail. Now, look. <laughs> he said, now, leave at once and go home. I said I will reward you handsomely. But the Lord has kept you from being rewarded. <laughs> he said, I wanted to bless you, but I know that God doesn't want to prosper you. Come on, leave this place. Now the guy got angry and added a fourth blessing. Balaam answered Balak. Did I not tell you the messengers you sent me? Even if Bala gave me all the silver and gold in his palace, I could not do anything of my own accord, good or bad, to go beyond the command of the Lord. And I must say only what the Lord says. Now I'm going back to my people, but come, let me warn you of what these people will do to your people in the days to come. <laughs> Beautiful. Then he spoke this message, the prophecy of Balaam, son of Bear, the prophecy of one whose eyes see clearly. The prophecy of one who hears the words of God, who has knowledge from here, a star will come out of Jacob, a scepter will rise out of Israel. He will crush the four hairs of Moab, the scars of all the people of Shit. Edom will be conquered. See, his enemy will be conquered, but Israel will grow strong. Be on your feet right now. Be on your feet right. Speak in tongues. Le panga son de behes. Speak in tongues. Maranga bahas. I'm still le panga la bes. Go ahead, speak in tongues. Maranga bahas. Le panga la 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 bes.
way a man called Balak went to get a certain man to come and curse people don't ever think that you nobody wants to curse you you are deceiving yourself he came to me that we are which we have been putting curses on so so and so this is not a, 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 not a vision this is your co-worker he came to you and said that oh, every day we meet at this time and we put a curse on this person this is physical not spiritual so don't assume that no ah. the bible said that there are those who cares this job three said hmm, you are going to pray for yourself and the church Marubra. job three said Liviata. go to numbers 23 verse 23 Mahuvrahash. and on the numbers 23 23 Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. You are going to put your name and of Israel. See what God has done. Now give it the NIV and I'm, I'll tell you how to pray the prayer right now. NIV. Once we start, we are praying. That's the prayer point today for tonight. You, you are praying. There is no divination against Mark. You put your name there. Okay? There is no divination against Mark. No evil omens against CPIM. It will not be said. Frida. There is no divination against Frida. No evil omens against CPIM. It will not be said of Frida and of CPIM. See what God has done. Are you ready to pray? Yes, Pastor. Lift up your right hand. The blessing. I stop. I stop. The curse. The curse. Right now. Right now. In the Yes. In the case, in the in the divination, enchantment, enchantment, projection, projection against my life, against my, life, against my, family, against my family, against the business, against the business right, right, now, right now. I stop it. I stop. It. I cancel it. I cancel. It. I decree from, from today. It shall be said. It shall be said. See, see what God has done. God has done. In the name of Jesus, name lift of Jesus. up your voice. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
up your hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can't feel it. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every curse. Every curse. Around my life. Around my life. I break it. I be in the fetish spirit. In the fetish spirit. Any ancestral spirit. Any ancestral spirit. Projecting. Projecting. Over my life. Over my life. My family. My family. The ministry. The ministry. Right now. Right now. We curse. We curse. We reverse. 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 In the name of Jesus. You intended to harm me. You intended to harm me. But God meant it. You intended to harm me. But God intended it for good. To bring, to accomplish what is given the NIV, the King James, please. You, you, you thought to harm me. But God meant it. But as for you, you thought evil against me. But God meant it unto good. To bring to pass as it is this day. To save much people alive. Deuteronomy 25 verse 5. Verse 5. 23 verse 5. Kukaha. Nevertheless, the Lord thy God will not hearken to Balaam. But the Lord thy God turned the curse into a blessing. It means that a curse can be converted. No convertible. It can be converted. Heat energy can be converted to light energy. God, turn the curse into a blessing. You don't know all the forces against you. Now, this matter is, we can go on the national level. Now, let's assume that you went to, you were in, in quote, Afghanistan. You were native of Afghanistan. Mind your own business. You had your plans. Some people come to invade you. Somebody arrests you to kill you. Say any curse. Any curse. Unknowingly. 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 Somebody told me last week when we were praying on the Zoom, put your hand down for a minute. He said that my mom, when he got to a certain age, he became paralyzed. My auntie, he was the big woman in town. When he got to the same age, he became paralyzed. Now they have to beg to eat. Me too. When I was getting to that age, I saw the same signs. I said, ah, you have not done anything. There's a case. You must work on it. This is last week. The person is in this place. I can tell you a story. This is a not joke. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any limitation. Any limitation. On my assignment. On my assignment. I decree. I decree. It is turned. It is turned. Into a blessing. Into a blessing. And right now. And right now. I command. I command. Any evil arrow. Any evil arrow. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to sessions. Evil projection. Against my life. Against my life. Against my family. Against my family. Against my family. Against my family. Against my children. Against my children. Right now. Right now. Back to sender. Back to sender. Back to Back to sender. 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 Speaking evil. Speaking evil. Waiting for the demise. Waiting for the demise. Or the disgrace. Or the disgrace. Of my life. Of my life. Of my business. Of my business. Of the church. Of the church. Of the ministry. Of the ministry. Right now. Right now. I profess evil men. Evil men. Evil ways. Evil ways. We empower you. We empower you. To fail. To fail. You are empowered. You are empowered. To fail. To fail. You are empowered. You are empowered. To fail. To fail. You are empowered. Jesus. Just last week, somebody told me he was going for a funeral because a young guy has done has died. And the right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Right now. Right now. I am born again. I am born again. To reign again. To reign again. I am saved. I am saved. To reign again. To reign again. Every act. To, to fail. To fail. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say the blessing. The blessing. Is that working me? Is that working me? I am empowered. I am empowered. To win. To win. I am empowered. I am empowered. To succeed. To succeed. Lift up your voice right he now. To Lift up.
can come fire. If you can't come after service because he's sensitive. Your father went to sleep with a lady. Actually, your father abused the lady. He, it, it, they were not married. And you know about the story that your father, in court, either abused or raped the lady. And you know that the lady cursed, and there's a curse fighting you. If you know, you can come if you want to come, but if not, after service, see me. What I'm saying, I see it clearly. If we don't do something, limitation. Lift up your two hands. I pray for mercy for you. Amen. I said I pray for mercy for you. I receive in, the Jesus. in the name of Jesus. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amazing. Sing a song for me. The devil is a lie. Lift up your two hands and close your eyes. you are going through you are not the first to go through at times you even talk to the people in your family and you discuss what I'm talking about is that correct yes, you have been believing God that the man of God will call you and talk to you about what I'm saying yes, sir. is that correct yes, are you sure yes, sir. today God has visited you yes, I said God has visited you yes, lift up your two hands if you don't know go and ask there was a drunkard in your family. Yeah. You know about it? Yeah. A drunkard. He was worse drunkard. And he used to drink that he would disturb a lot of people. And people have rained curses. And part of the curses are fighting you. Where is that man? Is he there? Yeah. He's there. Did he die drinking or he stopped? I'm not sure. You don't you don't know. Yeah. He was a notorious one. Yeah. Yeah. Have you told me about that before? But there's a God in heaven. I said, I break. I break it. I 
I command your right. I cast confusion. Shout it, let's close, let's close. I bless you. to waste your life I curse it in the name of Jesus. you have gotten things and you have lost them but God is bringing you restor restoration God is visiting you mightily in the name of the Lord Jesus right now say every curse they put on you on your life I ask for mercy for you right now I stand as an angel of God like Balaam was sorted to help and to speak a blessing right now I speak a blessing let that blessing swallow up the curse. What's your name? Moses. Right now, I command the blessing to manifest. The stumbling block they put ahead of you. I break it in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, we speak better things than the blood of Abel. It speaks life into you. Long life, you are satisfied. Thank you, Jesus. I speak life. Life, life, the spirit which makes people run away from you. Oh, I remove in the name of Jesus. Let my God show you mercy. Let my king show you mercy in the name of Jesus. Get him coming. Sit here. Sit on my chair. Thank you. Say, Father, show me my blood of Jesus. Swallow up negative words against me and my family and show me mercy. Say, show me mercy. Say, the limitation is broken by mercy. In Jesus' name, drink the communion. Let this covenant show you mercy. Drink it. The blood will speak for you from today. The blood will speak for you from today. build ancient foundations we shall be called repairers of the bridge I repair the bridge as a prophet by mercy in the name of Jesus it's a new day for you you and your family is a new season oh thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I pay you back by the blood never to return again go never to return again in the name of Jesus I call it down clap for Jesus clap for Jesus now lift up your two hands empower you to be blessed amen. I empower you to live long amen I empower you to be whole amen. and healthy amen. to be rich amen. and powerful amen. I empower you to fear God amen. to do more amen. to have Amen. In this spirit which manifests to you in the night and take you to physics around physics. I cast that disgrace. I cast that shame in the name of Jesus. Every arrow projected against anyone another. Back to Sunday. Name of Jesus. Back to Sunday. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
let the fire of God protect you. Amen. I ask for mercy for you. Yes, Lord. You will be in the hedge of God. Yes, Lord. You will not break the hedge of God. In the name of Jesus. You will not break the hedge of God. Never. Let God show you mercy. Yes, Lord. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. You. Amen. From today, they will look up to you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a new season for you. Amen. I hear God say, speed, speed. Oh, come on, speed. Receive hey. my speed. In the name speed. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless. And I favor you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, if you believe like I do, I don't just shout and leave your name. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Go ahead, take your seat. Go ahead, take your seat. Don't let your spirit go down. Let your spirit rise. Don't let any garment of worry rest upon you. I break that cobwebs they threw at you. In the name of Jesus, I open up your heavens. Communion, please. Thank you, Jesus. Say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Shout, I'm blessed. Christ. The body and the blood of Christ. The body and the blood of Christ. The body and the blood of Christ. Take it. Now, if you're a young person here, if you have a parent, you've never given them a gift. Today, one more. God bless you. That shoe will not change your life. Go organize a seed, something, buy something. Stop saying that. My birthday, they didn't buy anything for you. What did you do for them on your Mother's Day or Father's Day? No, say, no, no, no. This spirit of entitlement won't take us far. If you're a child, find time. Say that I'm waiting when I have plenty money. No, no. All you have is all you have. Use what you have and secure a blessing. Jesus. It speaks better things than the blood of my environment the blood of my tribe the blood of my nation the blood of my ancestors the blood of jesus speak better things than the blood of my predecessors the back people are you ready We are praying, but they have to pray some. It speaks better things speak better. than the blood, than the blood. Of, my ancestors. of my ancestors, of my predecessors. Any voice, voice speaking against me, speaking against me. The, blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus is louder, is, louder. is, better, is better than that voice. Than that voice. In, the In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is speaking blessings. The work of my hands. I am blessed. I am blessed. I multiply. I multiply. I increase. I, increase. I, abound. I abound. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Blood, of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Speak for me. Speak for me. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Speak, for speak for me. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Speak, for me. speak for me. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Take and eat the blood. Eat the body. Drink the blood. Marunga vahas. Oh, mahadi kahada gashush. Vehenge vedegish. Father, we thank you. Upon all the glory, there shall be a defense. I said, upon all the glory, there shall be a defense. Your going out is blessed and preserved. Amen. Your coming in is blessed and preserved. Amen. They will say, see what God has wow. done. You are coming back with a testimony amen. of God's goodness. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And everyone shouted a living amen. amen. Clap for Jesus. If you are blessed, clap for Jesus. And you go ahead, pick up your offerings. Let's close. Glory be to God. If you need an envelope, lift up your hands. The ushers will give you one. You can give by the details on your screen. You want to give by your card. There's a card reader at the back. Lift it up and let's pray. Say, I give. Because I love Jesus. But as I give, it comes back to me. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. And running over. In Jesus' mighty name. And everyone shouted a living amen. Go ahead and let's take the I hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video, and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask your Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision 
just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.